In this video I'll show you how great the Gnome Cunning passive feature is. So Gnome Cunning, you have advantage on intelligence, wisdom and charisma saving throws. And to make the demonstration, here I have a, a Gnome Wizard with 20, 10, 12 on these abilities that are linked to the saving throws. And here I have Gale that is also a wizard with exactly the same stats. So if I take uh, Shadow Heart here, and I'm gonna like, cast, for example, this Bestal Curse, uh, which uh, has a Wisdom saving throw. And if I do it on Gale, I have 55% chance of succeeding. And if I do it on my Gnome, I have 30% chance. So why the huge 25% chance difference? It's uh, because of the Gnome Cunning. So it, when you do the calculus of the Gnome Cunning chance of hitting, it is 55% multiplied by 55% equals 30%. If we take another, let's say um, maybe this here, Banishment, Charisma Saving True, so same thing. Going to be 70% on Gale and 49% on the Gnome. So 31, 21% uh, chance difference because it's a 70 multiplied by 70 equals 49%. And that uh, that's a huge difference. And then you can you can get it gets it gets better when you add items or skills that increases your chance with uh, saving throws. I'll give you an example. If I take Shadow Heart here, I have a helmet which does plus two bonus to saving throws against spells. Uh, we were casting spells like banishments. So I take it and put it on Gale. And we said that the uh, chance of doing banishment was 70%. Now, what is it? Oh, I'm gonna equip it. I applaud your taste. So 70 goes to 60, so 10% less. Yes. And with uh, against the gnome, it was 49. Lost in thought. No one stopped me yet. I'm ready. And now instead of being 49, it's 36. So it, it went down by 13% is much more than 10%. So with a gnome, you can just stack a lot of items, a lot of skills which will increase your chance with saving throws and the effect is amplified because of the saving throw passive, the gnome passive here. So what is gnome cunning best with? for? What well, would be best for characters that uh, receive a lot of debuffs, huh? because these uh, these uh, saving throws for intelligence, wisdom, and charisma is uh, mostly used when you get, for example, you get cast a sleep spell or uh, like you a spell the paralysis spell or a slow things. Uh, most debuffs that you have with the cleric or wizard are linked to these saving throws. So I think it would be very good on characters that tend to receive a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, debuffs like that so maybe a character that is more in melee and more in the front of the battle because the characters that are more in the front of the battle tend to receive more spells from enemies more debuffs so i know it is a bit uh, it's a bit weird but maybe the no is really good for uh, melee classes like a fighter or a barbarian or a paladin thanks for watching